Now, first published in 1971 in the German language, this is the 1974 first English language edition published in the UK by Ian Allen. It's called A Pocket History of Artillery. In this case, it's light field guns. It was intended to be one of a series covering artillery pieces. I don't know whether the whole series came out, but with this one being the first one, light field guns, it does mention the other ones that were planned in the series. Whether they actually printed them or not, I don't know. It's a handy book for those of you out there who collect uh, World War One shell cases, because there's quite a lot of information about World War One and World War Two central and axis powers artillery pieces. It's a handy book for your reference library because the information in it won't go out of date. It's not a datable book, okay. Um, it runs to some 248 pages. This particular one, Light Field Guns, um, this compact little book is the first of a series which covers the European countries and the non-European major powers from the beginning of this century to the present day. It deals with light field guns defies, defined as guns of up to 90mm, howitzers of up to 122mm and all mountain guns. Further volumes are planned to deal with medium field guns, howitzers, mortars, heavier guns and railway guns, anti-tank guns and infantry guns. Each individual gun is dealt with in considerable detail and the book contains many historic photographs. It is indispensable alike to the artillery enthusiast and the military modeler. And it is a really good publication. I only have this particular one in the series and I'm going to see if I can find the other ones to make up a set. But they are well worth investing a few quid in. The kind of laid out as you would expect to have a photograph of the particular artillery piece and it tells you all about it, the elevation of the battle and there's remarks of where they were used at so it's all done by by country as well so it is a really handy little publication for all the toured artillery and it is really well illustrated where they have an illustration to put with the piece there's a couple of blank things there where they don't have it but it is a really good source of information and i reckon you could get one quite cheaply mine was a uh, a flea market fine for a couple of pounds, a couple of dollars, something like that. So we'll take a look at this one. So we have a Pocket History of Artillery Light Field Guns by Franz Kozar. Again, originally first published 1971, German language. English edition 1974. So you have development, equipment of the individual countries, table of types, manufacturers, Austro-Hungary, Austria, Belgium, Czechoslovakia, Finland, France, Germany, Great Britain, Hungary, Italy, Japan, the Netherlands, Norway, Russia, Soviet Union, Spain, Sweden, Switzerland, USA and Yugoslavia. And the predominantly World War One and World War Two. So you have equipment of what the individual countries had. A table of types. Then it starts Austro-Hungary. Belgium, Czechoslovakia, Finland, France, Germany, again still with Germany, Great Britain,
Hungary, Italy, Japan, Netherlands, Norway, Russia, Soviet Union, Russia, Spain, Sweden, Switzerland, USA, Yugoslavia, and the index in the back. So as you can see, it's a really useful little book for the kind of World War I related light field guns. So it's a pocket history of artillery. In this case, it's the light field guns version. So whether they brought out any more, I don't know, but it's well worth looking out for if you're into that sort of thing.